Our devotional today is from the Epistle to the Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 4 to 10. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, and raised us up together, and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Amen. Jesus' resurrection is the source of power we can experience every day in our own personal life. Jesus' power of resurrection is available to us. If we accept Jesus in the Holy Spirit, we will see his amazing power of our transformation. When we are struggling with sin, we can see this given power to us and make use of it to overcome sin right away. We can easily be able to rebuke the devil, his tempting power to sin, reject him, and be free from his grip. In order to be able to do this automatically every time we face temptation, we need to nourish our daily relationship with Jesus. We must read his word every day, examine ourselves, and rely on his resurrection power at work in our lives. When we do this, we will experience the fulfillment of all Jesus' good purposes for us. Instead of focusing on what we can do for him, we focus on his work in us. Allow him to transform and change our old nature in order to receive the new nature. We must ask Jesus to help us see our lives from his perspective. Look beyond the world's values, what has heavenly and eternal values. We must remember that our death from sin will lead to our resurrection. We must be willing to sacrifice our selfish desires that conflict with God's purposes for our lives. Decide to be crucified with Him, that's to say, crucify our selfish behaviors and lustful desires in order to receive his transforming power and he raises us from death to eternal life. We must know that we are spiritually dead until we receive Jesus and be united with his eternal life. Thanks to our Father God, for his exceeding riches of his grace, in his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace we have been saved through faith, and that not of ourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any one of us should boast. Amen.